What's up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Lemmy, the link aggregator and forum for the Fediverse, which is gaining a lot of popularity right now because Lemmy is pretty much a Libre version of Reddit. It's free and open source as well as decentralized uh, and it's written in Rust. Look at that. What more could you possibly want from Lemmy? So you can run your own instance of Lemmy on your own server, which is pretty much like having your very own Reddit. And there's already hundreds of people that are running their own Lemmy instances. Uh, some of these have thousands of members on them, and they've got dozens of communities, which are pretty much the equivalent of subreddits. So, yeah, we're going to take a look at some of these in this video. And I might do a more technical video later on to show you guys how to actually set up your own instance. Uh, but for now, I really just want to promote some of these communities and Lemmy instances, like just the general idea of Lemmy and the Lemmy verse, uh, and show you guys how to use them as an alternative to Reddit. Uh, so if you go to lemmy.org forward slash instances, that's what this page is here, you're gonna get a pretty good list of those Lemmy instances. Uh, so with these instances, the ones that say they are general purpose, these are you can kind of think of these as like a clone of Reddit. Like if we look at lemmy.world and we go to the explore communities tab, you'll basically see these sub forums that are dedicated to specific topics. So these are like the equivalent of Reddit subreddits in lemmy.world. And a lot of these are, <laughs> they have the same names as subreddits on Reddit, right? Uh, but then if we were to go to Another instance, like, um, what is this, SoPill, SoPuli.xyz, I don't know, I'm probably saying that wrong, but this is its own independent site with its own independent communities, if we go to the Explore Communities tab. But then if we compare these side by side, so this is Lemmy.world and this is SoPuli, however you say it, uh, you might notice that there are some communities that go by the same names and so they probably have the same kind of content there. So there's another layer to Lemmy than there is to Reddit. So this is something that you should be aware of if you're a Reddit refugee or you're just somebody that wants to try Lemmy out. You're probably going to end up following the same kind of communities or finding the same kind of communities across these different instances. and. If you wanted to create your own community, then you can also do that just like you can create your own subreddits on Reddit. But since there's all of these different instances on Lemmy, you have a lot more freedom and flexibility to find a place to host your community because different instances are gonna have different rules, they're gonna have different things that they want to focus on. So you could create or you might want to try to create the same community on different Lemmy instances, and then that way if one decides to delete your community like Reddit has done with so many subreddits, then it can continue living on. And of course, if a whole bunch of instances don't like your community, then you can just go ahead and create your own instance and then whatever communities you want uh, on there. And then at that point, the only thing that these other instances can do is defederate from you, uh, which we'll talk about a little bit more in a couple of minutes. Now, one really cool thing about Lemmy is there's a lot of instances that are dedicated to niche subjects that don't necessarily try to be Reddit clones that appeal to everyone. And so these Lemmys, even though they're still laid out kind of like Reddit, like we can take a look at this uh, programming.dev one, for example, they're laid out like Reddit and they have a modern look to them, but something like this, programming.dev, might actually function a little bit more like an old school forum. Uh, like if we go to explore communities, for example, it's all programming for the most part, but then they've also got like a programming humor, right? So this is sort of like their off topic or like their meme page within this specific community. Um, and like they could have other ones too. Like, I don't know, let's see if there's any more off topic ones. Um, 
Okay, so they got another one that's dedicated to text editors, right? So this isn't necessarily programming related, but it's programming adjacent, okay? So here they're gonna be talking about um, text editors and all of these are seem like they're relatively new uh, or there's not that many people on them rather. So they might end up creating more, but yeah, for the most part, these are fairly technical. So you kind of get the idea of, or you might not get the idea of what I'm talking about if you haven't used an old school forum like they had in the early 2000s where a lot of them would be dedicated to a niche subject, like they would be dedicated to even just a video game, right? Like a specific video game instead of video games as a general topic, but then there would be off topic uh, pages and like sub forums where, I don't know, you could talk about stuff that people who play Grand Theft Auto like to cook for breakfast. <laughs> now, another benefit to Lemmy, and actually it's a bit of a double-edged sword, but it's the Federation aspect. So of course, each of these instances are run independently. They have their own independent communities that in some cases are gonna be posting similar content. Uh, well, if two separate instances decide to federate, then they can easily share content between the two of them. Uh, like if we go to bha.org, for example, and we go to explore communities, here under local, these are all of the communities that are in the bha.org instance. But then if we click on all, now we're going to be able to see communities from other instances like lemmy.ml because bha is federated with lemmy.ml. So this is going to expose you to a lot of other communities. And again, communities that might even be the same or have the same name and the same interest on separate instances. And this makes it very easy to keep up with the content that you want to see across Lemmy instances. That way you don't have to go to different websites essentially to see everything that you want to see. And this also makes the content decentralized within the Lemmyverse and more available. Like if one Lemmy instance were to go down, the content could still be available on other instances, like the content from memes at lemmy.ml could still be available through Biha, as long as the instance has users subscribed to it, and then those communities are gonna have the content pulled over to Biha. Uh, but if one instance, like if Alice is running a popular Lemmy instance and decides to defederate from Bob, then all of the communities and all of the users on Bob's Lemmy instance are going to be cut off from the communities and users on Alice's instance. Well, not completely cut off, but they're going to have to basically create a user uh, on these separate instances, on these separate websites, and have to go between the websites to see the content. And unfortunately, there's already been a bit of drama within the Lemmyverse over a community called the Donald that was created on the Lemmy instance sh.itjust.works, which is one of the more popular instances. Now, I wasn't on Lemmy during the time that this drama was going down uh, and that the Donald community has since been banned from the Shit Just Works Lemmy instance. And I didn't even see any archives of the Donald from the shit just works Lemmy instance on the way back machine. So I don't even know for sure what was posted there, but some people were getting really upset about this and they were wanting other popular instances to defederate from shit just works because of this, uh, at least during the time that <laughs> the whole hubbub was going down, uh, which like I said, that would have cut off a lot of people from the communities in one of the more popular Lemmy instances and it would have isolated their content, which as a brief aside, Lemmy is kind of lacking in content right now. I mean, you can kind of see here on Biha, and I mean, granted, this is one of the more popular Lemmy instances that most of these um, communities only have a few hundred posts in them. Okay, so there is nowhere near as much content uh, going through Lemmy, really going through the whole Lemmyverse, as there is on Reddit right now. 
And that's the main thing that I think is holding Lemmy back, in my opinion, because the main reason that most people use Reddit is so that they can scroll for hours and hours looking at content that they like or looking for information, right? Looking for specific information. Uh, and this is part of the reason why I'm making this video to make people more aware that this is a pretty good platform um, that needs content. So if you've got it, flaunt it here in the Lemmyverse. And I'll probably share my content on some of these communities as well, at least any ones that are gonna like let me post my community there or let me post my content there. Uh, but anyway, when it comes to this whole like defederation thing, I think it's a pretty extreme measure that should only really be used in extreme circumstances. Uh, not when a community that from what I've seen, there were really only, I think it's actually posted in this thread here. Yeah, so it's like, it doesn't, well, it doesn't even show up in here, but you can see from the fact that the Donald doesn't show up, that there are basically no users in it, right? Like there were not really any users. There weren't really any posts. Um, you know, I guess it was just two or three people that were basically trolling the Lemmyverse. And in a way, the trolls were successful because they ruffled a bunch of people's feathers. Each user is able to block content from communities that they dislike, and they're able to block users that they dislike. And you can subscribe to communities that you do like. So I really would not want an admin making that decision for me on a Lemmyverse instance that I create an account on. I understand defederating from instances that are hosting illegal content or content that's illegal in the country that your instance is hosted in. Like, I've noticed that there's a few Lemmy instances that are hosted in Germany. Like, I think this one here is hosted in Germany. So I could understand, like, I totally understand banning and wanting to defederate from anything that has to do with Nazis, like no Hitler memes, uh, no nothing like that, because it's probably going to be illegal to host that content or have content like that floating over to your community if the server's in Germany. But aside from blocking illegal content, if you're trying to be a general purpose Lemmy instance, then I don't think it's a good idea. In fact, I think it's a real disservice to your users to jump to defederating over something like political differences uh, and basically make the decision for your users about what they're able to see. But it looks like things were able to get worked out this time and that instances like shit it just works and Biha are working on refederating. By the way, Biha defederated long before the whole like Donald thing. I think their initial reason was that just works has open registration, so it's a lot easier for people to get on here and they were worried that it would attract a whole bunch of trolls. But still, I don't think that trolls are a good reason to defederate, at least not if you want to be a general purpose instance, but that's just my opinion on that. But anyway, drama aside, I think you should check out Lemmy, especially if you're fed up with Reddit and their bullshit. Go and create an account on an instance today or start running your own instance. And there's plenty of guides out there on the internet for how to do it. I might even make another one for y'all in the future. Anyway, like and share this video on Lemmy and have a great day.